Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Day 53, almost 54. I am uh, doing another early morning recording. That's why my voice sounds a bit ashy, a bit scratchy. Still, uh, still kind of getting up and around here for the day. But this has provided the... Look at this 25 chassis. <laughs> That's a shame we can't replace just... Oh, we can! I thought you had to take the whole thing apart to uh, to do that. All right, perfect. Now, this has provided the uh, perfect opportunity for the old Spartan lately to get his recordings done. And uh, it has, uh, you know, just been a the opportune time for me. Look at those trees are growing up there. Well, it looks like time didn't magically pass today. Uh, let's go get that tree farm in that garden first thing. Let's just go get it. We need the extra wood, and we need to also get the uh, stuff for paint. Even though I have a bazillion paint already, uh, we'll get a bazillion more. Yeah. Uh, I want to put the bullets away. I guess we can just scrap this chassis. How long does it take to scrap a chassis? Thirty seconds. All right, well, huh, let me uh, let me cancel that. Go over here to the workbench and scrap it so I don't have to carry Oh, I forgot to put my gas barrels back. That's okay. We have gas in our inventory. Uh, let's see if we can eat a meat stew. Yes, we can. A yummy meat stew. Yeah, these early morning recordings, I'm still trying to kind of get my brain to working so I can brain a little bit. Uh, but uh, but they have provided the perfect opportunity for me to get a, a good lengthy recording and might even stream early in the morning one day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I could have the, uh, the, the zest or energy that I normally have during those streams, but uh, I thought about it just so I could get more progress done on the stream series. And you can always post a replay if you can't make it here. You can always watch the replay. All right, let me turn the volume down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a lot of wood. Do I have a 600 blade on this chainsaw? Oh, I don't. I could have a 600 blade, I think. Next time we're at the trader, if I don't have an extra blade, and I don't think I do, but if I, I stop by the trader next time, I need to uh, buy a blade and get this thing up to 600 to get the most out of it. Because I'm missing out. I know it's just a few wood, but I'm missing out on a few wood every tree by not having that blade capped out. Pretty sure that I am. I'm sure this works just the same as the uh, auger blade works. That tree fell backwards. Yeah. Bar has got a lot of wood. After this harvest. Well, if we can, we can get a huge surplus, then we may not even need to use this tree farm for much longer. You know, a few more, a few more growth periods or something like that. And then uh, we'll rely on the tree farm in our base to get it done. I don't know. Uh, you know I'll, have to, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, it'd be nice to not have to come back over here. We just auger up our garden. This is a good way to get started. You know, it'll probably be another uh, 20, 30 days in game or something like that. We'll use it. And then if I see that I have such a uh, surplus of wood that I could get by with the garden at the base, it would prevent me from having to uh, use this anymore. With, that, with the weird growth thing that's going on over here, I don't understand it really. Uh, Glimpse was saying it's something, a known issue with the Unity engine. 
with the garden and the trees not growing properly. Might do away with it. It's always good to start out this way. You know, when we needed a bunch of wood for the frames to fuel our forges, and we still do, but we'll just have to see. All right, so we have a grand total of 36,712. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get it all replanted so it can be growing again. Now, I hope you all have seen the benefit of having something like this in the form or the layout that I have it. See how fast I'm able to run through here and replant this and how fast I was able to cut 36,000 wood? What did that take, like two and a half minutes or something like that? It takes about 60 seconds to replant 30 something, almost 40,000 wood. If you don't goof up like I just did. Cause I'm holding shift uh, as I'm moving here to run and letting go, shift and let go. Make sure you turn off sticky keys in Windows, though. <laughs> You're going to get a little message pop up. Boop, boop. Yeah, we never even planted this full garden. Kind of curious what that's going to put us up to for, for paint. And I need to do away with the garden on top of the base. Look at that. What was that? Uh, 30, 40 seconds or something? Maybe it was a minute. I don't know. But that was fast, whatever it was. Let's, uh, let's pick this garden. All this cotton. How much are we getting? Just three. Okay, so. We'll get to the fertilized soil, which is the next row right here. Get five. Five of those. I'm going to get a lot of chrysanthemum. I could make uh, some red tea now. Look at that. Getting four chrysanthemum per harvest here over this uh, fertilized soil. I'll probably go ahead and split it up one more time. Boy, I should have counted those. Son of a gun. Um, what do we have here? What do we have? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-nine is what I count there. So. Let's do 29 for you. Uh, 29 for you. 29 for you. Yeah, so we'll get this all planted. We'll head back over to the base and uh, still have it decided. Forge room or horde bunker. Uh, both are going to take a lot of bulletproof glass, which I should have checked while I was over there. Uh, how we were doing on uh, fueling the forges. Of course, we'll run right back over there now. We're hop, skip, and a jump from the base and get all that going again. I want to check my raw resources, sand lead all of that make sure I have uh, ample resources because if we need to do another mining day we will or maybe we'll split up and do half mining and half building or something like that but I really need to stock these forges up I I'd love to have a uh, another forge going uh, and that's not fertilized so we're not going to worry about it I'm not going to use my fertilizer over here either well, that was quick. Harvest the garden, tree farm, everything, and done. Back to it. But we also need to finish out this uh, the glass in this tree farm. I want to have that all covered. So, uh, I don't think I have to worry about a spider defense over there. Maybe we do. Maybe we do that, but, uh, okay. So, we had just put fuel in here. Uh, while I'm looking at it and we have to go to the food chest anyway, let's get some more murky water, bottled murky water.
1400 to be exact. 58 minutes, so we need to put... Oh, went a little overkill. That's all right. Stick our pine seed in there. Have 184 of those. Um, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, We could make... Let's go to the chem lab here and see what we could make for paint. Oh. What, uh... Oh, I didn't have that much uh, goldenrod. That's what it was. That's what it was. Well, we're... Ooh, we don't have a lot of goldenrod here, do we? Uh, recipe, goldenrod seed. Let's uh, let's plant those up top. We'll just stash this away for now. And... Since we have fertilized soil up here... Well, that's the end of the fertilized soil. What is that? Bear horde. Now they all stopped and thought about it. Look at that. Three bears and what was that? About a dozen dogs. <laughs> That's a good. There goes a straggler. It's a good thing we were not on surface level there, ladies and gentlemen. That could have become very ugly very quickly. Goodness. Yeah, well, that's the first one of those we've seen on the Let's Play. The uh, bear slash dog horde. Uh, saw one on the... Almost sounded like another one. Uh, saw one on the stream series the other day. Pretty frightening. Not gonna lie. Let me turn this off. And since I'm here... Let's just go ahead and make the rest of these into seed. Uh, we don't need any goldenrod tea right yet. And we're going to have a bunch of it here very soon over at the other garden and this garden. Trying to stick to fertilized soil so we get the most out of it. It'll be a while before we do away with this garden anyway. I have so much work to be done here. Um... Yeah, I hope this build has been intriguing for you and not boring to watch. It's been a lot of fun to build uh, thus far. I've uh, certainly enjoyed every moment myself of building. But I know it can become fatiguing to watch someone in the same place for too long. Uh, what are we doing on Goldenrod T? Yeah, we still have a good little bit of it there. Nice. Well, let's put our wood in the box. A little something like that. I'm liking those solar banks. So we're going to need a lot more spotlights. We're going to need a lot more fluorescent lights. I just don't know how many quite yet. Uh, all right. Let's check the forges. They're good. I think we had just topped all of these off last episode. Let's check our boxes. Oh, we're all almost out of sand. Now, we used all that sand... Did old crow come in here and eat my sand? I think he might have. Someone came in here and ate it. I think it only makes 63, so let's let that smelt. I think lead, well, iron is another one. How much iron? Uh, just to make one. Uh, 20, okay. Stone is the least of all, and we have plenty of that. Uh, let's look at this one and see. So we're pretty good on clay to make bulletproof glass. Takes 20 of that too, though. Uh, lead, we're very short. Um, let me run to the desert. And let me grab some fuel. We're gonna need to make some, uh, we're gonna need to make some more gas here. Might as well use this chem lab to do that. Let's do that. Let's stick this in here. Well, we just don't, you know, it's a good thing we did increase stack sizes because we don't have enough time to get things done on this Let's Play series. 
There's just not enough time in every day. Even if I were to do a two-hour recording every day, it's nothing like streaming, you know, where you can stream four, five, six, eight, however long you feel like you can go for. Uh, you can get so much done that way. Uh, this way, it's, uh, it's just not enough time in a day to get everything done. Uh, we'd have to do like four or five hours every single day to kind of make up for the lack of stack sizes and increased uh well i guess the loot doesn't matter now we're not even really looting anything anymore but uh you know to give us that kickstart to get out here and start building uh, i was thinking back on the alpha 15 let's play how slow the progress was and in 203 episodes the the few small bases we were able to build on that um and you see here with this uh, bulletproof glass especially. I'd love to get a third or fourth forge going for the bulletproof glass just because it takes so long. It'd be so excellent if a forge could smelt three or four things at one time. Feral White. I wonder if that wandering... I wonder if the wandering horde is still out there. You know how they'll run for a little, little way ways past your base and then they'll stop I wonder if that's the case today I wonder if they went out there and stopped not too far from the base sometimes they do they'll only go so far and then they'll stop and just disperse and kind of stand around because that's a bunch of dogs and a bunch of bears over there just awaiting what they did and I'm not going to spend too much time here today I just want to scoop up some sand while we're over here Scoop, scoop, scoop it up. Scoobly doobly. Let me drink my drink. Get my energy drink going here. Ah. Boy. Hope that kicks in soon. Well, there's probably no better place than right here. We could just shave off the top of this mountain. I guess. You know what I mean? I'll just shave it off just like that. Grand Spartans Mountain Removal Service. Is that mountain in your way? You have a mountain blocking your view. Call Grand Spartans Mountain Removal Service. We're fast and efficient. Ah, getting some artifacting or something going on right there. Don't like it that. You know what, I'm just going to hold down on the button. My finger's tired of clicking this early in the morning. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold down. Hold on. I'm coming. Oh, zombie. Dead. And a little bit of brass. Probably going to need that to make some electrical parts at some point. Or 9mm bullets. Who knows? Grand Spartan. Might be, get crazy up in this thing. Be making nine millimeter bullets. You've never seen me do that before. I don't think I've ever seen me do that before. Now I did on uh, the multiplayer server when I had those auto turrets for that one base. And I said, you know, I'll never do that again. And I most likely never will. For a horde defense, nah, those, those auto turrets are just too costly. You get one good horde and then you're done. <laughs> you're not using them again. Up for a long time at least. What are we up to for sand? Do 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 we'll go ahead and reload. Start back down uh here. Scoop it up. Yeah, we would be doomed in this little cornered in area had that uh, 
bear dog horde attacked us now instead of running by while we we're in the base we're very fortunate to have missed out on that oh come here buddy come here dead it off there and now we can do this you now we get six or eight stacks of sand I'll be happy we have plenty to play around with I don't really need much more concrete right now I think we're pretty good on concrete I mean I still need to do a lot of building but uh, you know I increased the stack size so whereas I would normally have a thousand per stack or you would have a thousand per stack we have five thousand per stack so if you look at it in the in the storage bin, it doesn't look like much, but it's probably a full storage bin of 1,000 stacks, which, you know, doesn't go that far. But, uh, but it's more than what it looks like, just because the stack size being greater than the uh, default. Probably should have dug a tunnel here. And probe around for some resources while I was at it. But you know how that goes. I start probing around. Start probing around down in there in the tunnel. Next thing you know, Spartan's chasing resources. Why does the cactus make no sound when it falls? If a cactus falls in the desert and no one's around, does it make a sound? Deep thoughts with Grand Spartan. So hopefully no more sand for a while. Don't have to worry about it for a while. That is the goal. I'm going to get on back over to the base and get to building. All the time it takes me to uh, plan things. Resource gather. I get such little time to build and then every seventh day... We have to take on this thing uh, called a horde. Well, that's not five or six stacks, but we're gonna, we're gonna probably shave off one more layer and then we're gonna go with it. We're just gonna get on back to the base and use what we have. Because I do want to get some planning and some building done today. It's kind of hard. I mean, I could take screenshots and sit there and study the screenshot and get ideas. That's probably what I need to be doing. Uh... You know, since I can't get on here and play, or I'll run the clock, uh, I should do something like that. I should probably start planning in my mind kind of what I want to do. Uh, it's hard to get a nice mental image. I mean, especially with... I'm working on a base on the multiplayer server. I'm uh, working on the base on the stream series that is similar to this one in style, or at least defense. Um... You know, it's hard to really come up with a good idea for a, a good plan, I guess I should say. Not an idea, but a good plan for what I want to do each and every episode until I get in and see it. Think about it. Maybe place a block or two. That's kind of what helps, too, is being able to place a block somewhere and look at it. And that's why I like rebar so much is because it gives you the opportunity to lay it out and plan. And you come up with some pretty creative things. And if you goof it up, you can just pick it up and keep going. All right. Well, that's good for now. That's good for now. We're going to uh, get out of here. Head back to our base. Turn the light on. Boy, it's dark out here. It is dark. Yeah, we might even go boulder picking again one day. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy that so much. Especially with this 600 auger blade, makes it uh, so super simple and fast. We'll go over to the snow biome. Of course, I think the trader respawns on day 55, right? Yeah, 
looking at 55. And then uh, we'll take a little trip around. Well, wait a minute. Where's my bed? My bed is over there. And we'll take another trip around to all the traders and buy up some more solar gear. Maybe while we're over in that snow biome, I might do a little boulder picking. Get a little bit of everything. That was a wolf. Yeah, well, we haven't had a wolf horde yet with the dire wolves and all of that. Uh, that's that's still to come. We've seen our first bear dog horde. That can be uh, pretty scary. Increase the size of those things, too. I double the size of them. So I think before it would have probably only been one bear, maybe two, but one bear and a handful of dogs. And now, <laughs> you see what we had run by. There's no getting away from that. You're dead. If you're on foot and not close to your mini bike, you're not, you're not going to make it. I don't care if you have a bazooka. You could take down a jumbo jet. You're not going to survive that. Working on some pretty cool and interesting things for the stream, though, I... Well, just for the channel in general. Don't know when it'll all come to fruition. When we'll make it all happen and a real thing. But uh, I have two or three ideas of something that I want to do. And uh, I hope to be able to introduce it all soon. I hope that uh, it will benefit the community. Uh, I'll pay you all back. And uh, it's a couple of fun and exciting things to do uh, during the streams as well. All right, so we're here. We're going to stick that in there. Throw that out. We've got a little bit of stone while we're out there at it. And... You know, sand's good there. Sand is really good there. I need... Well, I need to put my brass away. Oh, we're putting the brass in here, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, I... Guess I can hold on to the gas because we're gonna need the gas. Let's see. I want to get more of these pillars crafted here. Uh, One hundred rebar frame. Let's do. Uh, let's do two hundred of them. Let's do two hundred. That's only two and a half minutes for two hundred. That's not bad. Uh, so while we're gathering, those can be building. Uh, I want regular rebar. Probably gonna sell those wet concrete blocks. I don't think I'm gonna use those for anything else. Um, boo -doo -boo -boo. might as well get some plates. Get a uh, stack or two of that good stuff. And some ramps, maybe. Okay. And all that is bulletproof there too, so that's good. That's good. If we take this out and stick it up in here, we have about the same amount of all, well, these two right here, the most important. This one I need a lot more of too, though. We're going to use those for something here in just a short. I think, I think. I haven't made my mind up on that yet, but uh, let's go ahead and grab what we can, the 82 or so, uh, and run over here. I guess we could turn the lights on. You know, we have some lights. Look at that. Let there be light. Folks, that fancy little hallway. Oh, it's dark over here, though. Dark over here. We can change that. This generator's still running. Look at that. Still has some fuel. Shotgun shells and some fuel up in there. Up in there. Well, what I propose to do over here could cause a catastrophe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but I need to change this. I need to change this. And what I need to do first, get this off of our belt, is uh, put a little support in there just in case. <laughs> uh, I need a lot more support than what I have here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We didn't go, but what? Five in between? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we did the same thing there. And that's holding up well, far as I can see. 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right there should be the next support column. That's where the next support column should be. Now, we're going to have to redesign this whole thing. It's either that or tear it down and start over. I think it'd just be easier to kind of redesign what we've done uh, with the supports. Two, three, four, five. Because uh, that top part's going to come down. We're going to take that off. That's not going to be a thing any longer. And then one, two, three, four, five. We probably should have, ow, have extended this one more block out. You know what I mean? Just to keep it all uniform. One, two, three, four, five. And then it would have gone right there. That's probably what we should have done. I'll leave that one there. Silly cactus. A natural defense. Um, six, and then one, two, three, four, five. There'd be another one right there. Because this would go away. Do, 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 two, three, four, five, six. Same thing there, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You know? That's how it should be. That's how it should be. I think. I think. I actually might even need more supports than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm all goofed up now. I'm all goofed up with the way I did this. Uh, this should at least be one somewhere up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Because uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This whole thing was a slap together deal from the start because because I needed to get it up off the ground. If it wasn't such a waste of resources, and if I wasn't two days away from another horde inbound, I would tear it down and start over. I would tear it down and start over. Um, in order to build what I propose to build up top. I'm going to need a lot of support. I'm going to need a lot of support from all of you, ladies and gentlemen. I think by adding the extra in the center here. This side is right. This side I did right. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I did that one right and I didn't need the others right, but uh, we'd need uh, another one there. So one, two, and one, two. You know what I mean? One, two. And then the wings over here don't have, they're closer, but I mean, that could work. That could work. And the wings don't need to be any wider out anyway. Uh, just going this way, going uh, north-south needs to be fixed. Needs to be fixed. Uh, East-west is okay. North-south, not okay. Uh, so these pillars can stay. Uh, I could go ahead and Upgrade that. don't have any steel on me. And then this one's going to have to be... Well, you know what? We don't want to... We don't want to leave that there because... Uh, or we don't want to build up the pillar next to it because then I can't collapse it. Well, hopefully this does not collapse. If it does, then it was a sign from above that we just needed to uh, destroy the whole thing and start over. And if that's the case, then we're going to be running around out in the street to take on this 56-day horde that's right around the corner. 
<laughs> we'll be taking over a little POI. A little POI. All right, let's get our rebar here. And put it right there. And we need some quarter blocks. Probably had a bunch of them in the base. Let's go ahead and make another 50, though, because... You know, you know what I mean. Uh, let's put our nail gun there. And we're going to auger this. Well, let's upgrade this one. Auger this block out. And get the old quarter block of Ruski up in here. Uh huh. Well, let's see if we can. that number right there oh, that already looks better already looks better all right let's nail it it needs to dry it needs to dry now up there that'll have to stay for now that's gonna have to stay for now but it will change it will absolutely change and I tell you what I don't like the way this looks. I don't like the way you're looking at me. No, I don't like the way this looks. And what I could do, I could extend... Yeah, that'd be a lot of work to extend that. Because uh, we had to take the shotgun turrets down. Uh, but I could split this. I could put a pillar here. No. Let's see here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, put one there. And that way we have a three and a three. You know, on the edges here. Um, because that just looks kind of silly, that corner block right there with no support. I think. I think it does. Uh, I should have never done it that way. And then that's going to goof up the side over there if I do that. But uh, it would hold more weight and would look better from down here. Um, maybe I come back to that. Maybe I come back to that. Let's uh, let's stick to the task at hand here. Tell you what, let me build my weight up here. I'll be building my way back to you, baby. Ooh, it's kind of early in the morning for uh, Spartan singing. All right, that is done. Done, done. Let's uh, connect the dots. You ever play connect the dots as a kid? Sure you did. Not the prettiest looking thing that Grand Spartans ever created, but it's gonna work. It is going to work, my friends. And the only reason I'm tearing this one down before I build the next one, so that I can collapse it. If the whole thing comes crashing down, then the whole thing comes crashing down. Yeah, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense what I'm doing. Uh, it will in the end. Much like that tree farm over there didn't look like uh, it was making a whole lot of sense. Someone said they even thought it was going to be a Grand Spartan mini bike uh, 
parking. <laughs> no, no. We might get fancy with some mini bike parking at some point, but not this point. I don't like the way that looks now, but like I said, that's going to all go away up there. It won't for this horde. We're going to have to we're going to have to leave all that up top in place for this horde just to have a uh, power, just to have power to our turrets. Um All right, I already feel more secure up there. <laughs> more secure. So like it holds more weight, better weight. Is that it right there? Let's see, let's stand right directly in the center and look up. I think that one's it right there. Let us rebar it and see. I think it is. A little something like that. And give me that extra support up in the middle. Uh, we need to do the same thing down here too, though. A little squishy. Get that squishy out of the way. And then the same thing here. So we had a one, two, three, four, five. Get up in the center, look straight up. That's almost right there in front of that shotgun turret too, isn't it? That was the one advantage to not having that one there. Same over there. But I, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, I might even... I, I think I'm going to change up the way these shotgun turrets are sitting. The places that they're sitting. I'm going to change that up too. And I'll show you how and why in just a little while. Uh, well... Maybe not this episode, but uh, an episode coming near you soon. Probably add at least two more shotgun turrets, if not four. If not four. And then we're going to have to get real serious about some, uh, I was wondering horde. I wonder if they're going to see me over here. I'm just going to ignore them. If they want to come over here, then they can come over here. And that's going to happen right there. Wow. Boom. No head. Off with her head. I thought I missed that one. Thought I was off by one. All right, let me take this out. Well, at least that's not a dog, bear, wolf, or puppy vulture, snake, or. Yeah, maybe we need to find someone to uh, implement a puppy vulture snake or. Maybe that's what we need to do. I can't believe that this doesn't collapse right here. If I take this out, it might. I don't know what happened on the other side. But if I take this out, I bet it's going to collapse. No, it didn't collapse. It didn't collapse. But there's nothing holding that. That's a free floating block right there. Yep, they're just going to wander right on through. I'm sure all my stuff's upgraded to reinforced concrete. Looks like it is. Looks like it is. Let me go ahead and repair my auger since uh, we want to get the most out of it. I really like the idea that that blade does not degrade now. Once you get a 600 blade, it's good forever. 
I'm gonna love you forever and ever. Ever and ever. Amen. All right. Well, Randy Travis for you. All right, let's take out that block right there. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, my son of a gun. You look at that. It did it that time, didn't it? Well, we just lost auger number or uh we just lost generator number one. I knew I should have picked that thing up. That's all right. I figured that would happen at some point. We just lost a an engine, an auger, some shotgun shells, and a little bit of fuel. Well, maybe that's a sign though. Maybe that's a sign that it didn't need to be there and long time coming that's why we're building more support too i should be able to take out any of these and still have plenty of support oh there's something on the ground though oh look at that we get our stuff back we get our stuff back uh let me build my way up there and take a look at it real quick and make sure there's nothing else lying around up here nope that <laughs> There's our generator right there. Someone play the world's tiniest violin for Grand Spartan. Oh well. Well, there'll be plenty more where that one came from, so... Go ahead and do a little cleanup and get this weight off the top of it. This destroyed stone weight, there's no need to have that there. Well, that kind of forces my hand to uh, redesign it uh, more uh, or faster than I had originally intended. Let's get rid of this. Mm-hmm. Fortunately for us, we didn't try to do this on day 56, like right before the horde hit. Uh, we'd be without a generator. I can always do a little makeshift generator. I can plop one down, boom, right here or something. We'll raise it up so that the uh, cops firing up don't hit it and destroy it. But you know, we'll come up with a just a quick temporary fix, much like we did over there for the uh, generator inside the base. Uh, heck, for all of that goes, or all of that matters. We could, uh, we could connect, just for a temporary fix, the lighting down here and run the power wire up there and just run the generator that's in our base. You know, we could, we could do it that way. That's probably how we'll do it, actually. Now that I think about it, that'd be the better way to do it uh, for a temporary fix. Just run my wire across the hallway down to the lights and up to there, and then we can save this for later. Like, we can, we can... Uh, worry about the design on this for later because I have some cool ideas for this uh, horde base. All right, so that is done there. I hear a zombie. Oh, it's cheerleader zombie. Well, let me see how I did it on this end over here. Talking about redesigning that, but. I don't know if I will. That might come at a later date. You know, putting one there and then one there. And leaving the three gap in between. It would certainly close in these uh, over here. Well, we need another one of those right here. That might have been my mistake too. I didn't do this one before I took the uh, other thing out. But you know that thing was barely hanging up there. I, didn't it collapse on us when we first built it or something? Something like that happened it collapsed. That was before we put anything up there. We were just building it. We were just building it and it collapsed. So I knew it wasn't very stable. Yep, 
Don't ever want that to happen, folks. That just happened. So that's a one, two, three gap there. You know what we could do almost here? I could almost. I could, I could. I, I see something else I can do up there to make to clean that up, to make that look a little better. Uh, we're going to do it, too. We're going to do it. What's our recording time? Oh, we're almost up to an hour already. Ah, oh, time just zips by. Of course, we had to go get that sand today, and that held us up a little bit. Uh, but I think what I can do here is make sure we're the same all the way across. We need We need to get rid of those. We need to put these in place. How did I have that? So there's a three gap there. We did a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What's that called? A fish alive. Um, two, three, four, five. I think it's off because, you know, I started in the north and worked my way to the south. But a five gap and a five gap. We're not going to get that same five gap over here unless we extended this wing a little bit. We're not going to do that. Three, four, five. It's like I said, it should be right there where that filler's at. Three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh. Pillar should be right here. Then we'd have a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, four, five. Whereas this size, you know, we had the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But we could change that. We could always change that. Uh, but what I propose to do, let me get up here and see if I can do this. Or not see if I can do it. Let me just do it. Just do it. So that pillar there. You know what I mean there? You following me? That would look a whole lot better than the way it is now. And then we, at least we'd have pillar-to-pillar -pillar connection instead of that odd gap. And let's do this. Let's do this. And hopefully it doesn't collapse. I don't think it will. Now we take this one down first. Well, let's take this one down first. Because these blocks are all technically connected, even though the quarter block doesn't show. There's a gap there, doesn't show it's connected. They are still connected. No need to even grind on those middle blocks. I'm gonna just collapse it. Oh, no we won't. No we won't, because they are connected. I'm even deceiving myself with the quarter blocks being connected. So if I were to upgrade this now, I could stick the quarter blocks up and there, up and there. Give us a little more viewing down below. A little more uh, area to see. I think that's better. I think that's better. Let's look at it from down below real quick before I continue with my task here. That silly cactus. Uh, yeah, it looks better that way. It does look better that way. Compared to this. You know, I don't like that. I don't like that. 
But that's what happens when you're in a rush to get some kind of a war defense built and you're just slapping stuff together. You know, you're not going to get it exactly like you want it the first time around. But if we're going to build something really cool up top here, I needed support, extra support, and I needed to redesign this a little bit. What we are doing. Well, it might be an extended length episode again today, but uh, I want to get this done at least. Uh, get the support columns in place. Get the... Uh, Get this all looking right. And we can always go for more viewing down below here a better view of the horde and do it this way you following me yeah it's a little better except that support column right there how many in a gap is that So one, two, three, four, five, right there. One, two, three, four, five, there. We probably should have done that. We probably should have done five with the four gap in between. Instead of a five gap in between, I should have probably done one, two, three, four, five, like that. Because that's a that's a long gap in between here, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's an even number, too. Ugh. Yucky. Yucky. Well, let's change that up over here and get it looking right like we want it over here. And these wings, uh, not only do they just house my shotgun turret, but uh, they're to give us an, the, a place to come out and defend the pillars. Um you know, we could come out here and see down, uh, protect the other pillars. But I, I tell you what, let me go over here and build my way up and get rid of, get rid of this uh, yuckiness over here that we've done. And make it look the same. Don't let me forget to do my spider defense, folks. I will forget. Just something. Just something temporarily. You know, get some temporary uh, spider defenses put up in here. I will forget. Not that it really matters. I mean, this is all going to be enclosed at some point anyway, but... Uh, I, it, I'd prefer not to have to fight feral radiated spiders during the middle of a horde when they're, uh, destroying things down below. <laughs> and I have them climbing up here with me. That would be preferred. Let's go ahead and repair our auger again. I think it was Ghost was asking the other day how I got the repair kits, so many, that he was running out. <clears throat> well, we've not done a lot of tunneling underground. Only tunneling we've done underground is not to build, but to gather resources. You know, we've done some mining, and I have certainly limited myself on this Let's Play to mining. We're just getting enough uh, while we're out mining to... Uh, get us by. 
Uh, we're not doing the type of mining that I would like to do, uh, or not, not that I would like to do, but that I normally do, where I'm just out for hours and hours and hours and hours, just back and forth to the mine. Uh, we're not doing that on, on this Let's Play. Um, but still, we're, we're gaining something while we're doing it, but I not had an issue with oil i think we could probably make another 100 repair kits or something like that as it is without having to go out and get more um we need to upgrade those that we replaced when they all dry we'll let those dry and just upgrade them all at one time uh so now now Well, we had to have this column here to hold the weight of that. Um, and it's an off number. I could probably get it like this over here. You know what I'm saying? Where we had the one, two, three, four, five in between. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five right there. And then uh, we could change this up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that will give me one, two, three, four, five. Uh, do the same thing here where I had proposed to do that. Like you see there. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Which way would look better? I think it would look better if I did it there. You know what I mean? Match up with that other column over there. But that would give us a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in between. I don't like that. I don't like having more than the 5 or what we're trying to do right here. That's going to put it out of line. It may actually work out better that way, though. If you have them all in line, I don't know. They work out better. But you'll see why I need all the support that I can get here in a few episodes, maybe, if we can get to it. I need a lot more bulletproof glass. So there's going to be a lot of weight up here. There's going to be a lot of weight. We don't want, especially when we get the bulletproof glass in place, we don't want that to all come crashing down. That would really stink. Really stink. And I think that column there is going to it's almost a shame that I didn't have it lined up here but if I had it lined up here all the way across from the walkway then the shotgun tourist just dead blasted into this column right in front of it you know at least there's a little gap there uh, that's a lot of a lot of columns down here but we're gonna change up the way the shotgun turrets are anyway they're not gonna stay where they are at uh, we're going to, we're going to make that more efficient design eventually as well. Um, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's corner it off here. Get that support column done there. Uh, this one we need to dig out there. Put you down there, upgrade you and stick you back in place. Mm-hmm. I think with that one being there, we'll make up for one, two, three, four, five. You know, and we'll have that one close by. Should hold, uh, should hold the weight just fine, just fine. So let's get this one nailed off. This one nailed off. Mm-hmm. All right, now we can take out these extras.
that out. Now let's take it out from up here. Don't you come crashing down on me for whatever weird reason. I think we're good here. Uh, because we have... Uh, because we have the support so, like, going across this way so often, this way is not going to matter as much. You know, and I also have one that's off-centered right here, so uh, that's going to that's gonna help. That's a lot of supports up under there. Good. That's, that's a lot of support. I need your support, ladies and gentlemen. My base needs it too. same as the other side. Let me step back and look at it here for a moment. So it doesn't look bad from back here. It's only if you get super close to it. And I can tell you right now, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time up underneath here. <laughs> but if we lose a pillar now, uh, why I'm doing this, why I'm supporting this so heavily is because you remember last horde, we lost a pillar down there. It was steel too, and we lost it. And as these hordes increase in size and number, uh, we are going to lose more pillars. And when I start building a structure up top, I don't want to lose a pillar or two and the whole thing come crashing down. So hopefully by upgrading all of this to steel, uh, it's going to be able to hold weight even if we lose them during the hordes, uh, which is going to be a thing. Uh, it's going to be a thing. We're going to lose pillars. There's there's no way to stop that from happening. Uh, it's, it's just going to be inevitable. Um, I think that's the halfway. Okay. One, two, three, two, one, two. Uh, it's definitely happening, folks. So in order to prevent that from happening, we're doing this. I think I'm taking out the right one. We're going to find out here in a moment. Well, that's right in front of that shotgun turret, though, isn't it? But we can't do that. We can't do that one. What's the gap here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe I could support this in a different way. Because uh, in order to get these wires to work, I ran into this issue on the stream series. Uh, I'm going to build a little attachment that goes out here. And that's going to be our uh, the way to get wiring without the wiring having to go through the interior portion of our base. And it will be protected as well. Uh, but that's going to be how we do that. Uh, so maybe when I do that, maybe when I do that, <clears throat> I'll put an extra support like right here. You know what I mean? We'll put an extra support out here. And that will be, it won't be in the way of our uh, turrets. Five. That screamer sounds like she's just standing over my shoulder looking at me. That's what it sounds like. 
I like that a lot better though. I think that looks uh, a lot cleaner than it did before. I'm just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit of your love for me. <clears throat> but the uh, extra pillar that we have in here, I don't like that. But uh, we're out of time for the episode today. So I'll have to come back and do some more thinking. And uh, how I can get the supports to look a little better. I'm over here. Looks fine. Where is that screamer? Where you at, gal? Right there. <laughs> oh, I love explosives more than I should. All right. Mm hmm. Well, that all dried quickly, didn't it? Water blocks. Dried it quickly. All right, so when we come back tomorrow, we'll uh, we'll work on more supports. <clears throat> Might even do... Well, I don't think I'll add those concrete supports up there because uh, that doesn't do any good. If, if this gets taken out right here, it's not going to do any good to have extra supports up there. This one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that pretty much concludes our episode for the day. Let me loot this uh, wandering horde. Clear those out of the way. <clears throat> I almost didn't loot that uh, paper because I get confused. I think it's the stream series we're really good on paper. Might be this series. I don't know. Very good, very good. Well, I'm glad to have that done. <clears throat> After losing this pillar, uh, last horde, you know, I started thinking, boy, if, if if I build a structure up top, not only does it need to support the whole weight, but we lose this pillar, and the structure up top is going to crash down upon us, and we're going to lose a lot of bulletproof glass. So I needed to kind of double up on all the supports, and uh, that's what we did today. Uh, we increased the amount of support that we have, so it's not going to be as detrimental to uh, survival of our base if we start to lose a pillar here and there. I'm guessing that we're going to lose two or three pillars every horde uh, moving forward. Uh, but I also need to increase the firepower that we have underneath here and uh, do a better job of killing them off to prevent that from happening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your support. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you're located. I'll see you all tomorrow.